Hi everyone, Tiffany here from Tiffany Gordon Cosplay and on this episode of Tips Tips Videos we're going to be going over how I made my Victorious Janna shoes from League of Legends. As always, the first step before starting in cosplay is to get reference images and for this one I decided to use the art version rather than using the in-game model. I then found a pair of old shoes in my closet and cut off all of the extra buckles. And to make my template, I first covered the shoe in saran wrap and then in masking tape and then drew on my pattern using sharpies and also adding extra paper for more dimensional pieces. Next, I traced my pattern onto 4mm EVA foam and cut out the pieces, and then glued each piece together with contact cement glue. I then rounded all of the edges of the EVA foam pieces, as well as adding details using a sanding drum and a dremel. And when all of the pieces were done, I then heat treated each one using a heat gun. For attaching the EVA foam to the shoe, I first traced onto the shoe using a sharpie where the pieces needed to lay, and then applied contact cement glue to both the shoe and the back piece of the EVA foam and let dry fully before attaching. Once again, I used a sanding dremel to remove any of the seams to help blend it together, and then did a light heat treat over the entire shoe. The last step before priming the shoe was to cover the zipper in masking tape. I then applied three heavy coats of Plasti Dip to the entire shoe. A little trick for spraying shoes, whether you're painting or you're doing Plasti Dip, is to put the shoe upside down on top of a spray paint can. This allows you to hold the base and fully rotate the shoe in 360 and get an even coat of paint. And once the shoe was dry, remove the masking tape over the zipper. Now to get ready for painting! I first masked off the area with paper and masking tape. I will note that masking tape tends to leave a sticky residue on top of freshly painted Plasti Dip. So I try to use paper as much as possible to help reduce that. And again, with the help of my shoe on top of a spray can, I airbrush painted the entire shoe silver using tester airbrush paint and adding a little bit of airbrush flow improver once the paint was dry, I then removed all the masked off areas and then covered all of the silver painted areas with tape and paper again. Using Tester's gold airbrush paint, I then painted the shoe gold. When the paint was dry, I then removed all masking tape and paper. For shadowing, I went back and added black airbrush paint and used a paper towel to wipe as I go so that way the black paint only stayed in the crevices. Here's the before and after with the before being on the left and the after on the right. For even more of a pop to the shoes, I then applied by hand acrylic paint. Once all the paint was dry, the final step was to seal the entire shoe using satin clear enamel spray paint. And that is how I made my shoes for my Victorious Janna cosplay from League of Legends. Thanks for watching this episode of Tiss Tips Videos, and I hope you enjoyed it. And if so, don't forget to subscribe. Much love!